Hello again, good evening, welcome to more business. Some business owners from Ghana and beyond, as well as members of Stanford Seed Transformation Network, have met at the conference in Accra to share experiences they faced in their quest to grow sustainable businesses that can scale up in Africa. According to various speakers, Ghana's business environment has been hostile and undermining business success. This morning, this report. Several business owners, including entrepreneurs from other African countries, were present at Stanford Seed Transformation Network Business Conference to share their experiences in doing business in the country and beyond. CEO of defunct UT Holdings, Prince Kufia Mwabin, highlighted Ghana's harsh business environment pushes decent people out of business. When it comes to the business environment, we did not be before that. We hate people who are outstanding. Even in the classroom, if you are too bright, it's a book where he doesn't like people. I, I can't say it's even juju that you used to learn. In business, if somebody is working too hard, hey, you know, Papa, they are always too long. Because we're not cut out to work hard to get what we want. We're cut out to use our connections to get what we want. CEO of Home Foods Processing and Cannery Limited, Felicia Chumesi, shared her worst experience of doing business in Ghana. She laments a time where her exports were deliberately contaminated. I have some mates. We all went to business school. At that time, they were running $30 million turnover. And in that class, I was the smallest. They are still increasing their growth. But you live in an environment whereby every year your net worth reduces. Am I right or wrong? Due to inflation, it's become very difficult. So if you don't have the right skills, the right assets, the right capabilities to grow is very difficult. The bank can give you all the money, and we know we don't have long-term finance in this country, which is also a very difficult situation that we are in. Because um, when I built this business, and I, was I had only middle and unskilled staff, we were doing very fine. We're doing very fine. Capital is very, very expensive, yeah, we all know. And then scaling up, you need resources. President of Stanford Seed Network, Constance Swanica, advised entrepreneurs to be talented and not only concentrate on obtaining credit. For us uh, members in the SDN, choosing the theme, scaling the difficult environments was very appropriate because as business owners, these are challenges that we face every day. Um, and I think it's so cliche when people think that oh, it's all capital. But as you can hear, for us, um, one of the main challenges that we face is talent. Fred Duhu's report for Joy Business. And some players within the local timber industry want expedited action in implementing the wood tracking system policy. The system, which seeks to reduce human contact in the lumber business, is expected to eliminate extortion and corruption and to prevent illegal lumbering. At a stakeholders' engagement in Kumasi, as part of the Green Livelihoods Alliance program by local NGO Tropembos, the local timber traders expressed worry at the government's lackadaisical approach to implementing such sensitive programs to secure the remaining forests in Ghana. Nana Sensu Mensa has more in this report. The National Wood Tracking System is a sub-component of the Ghana Timber Legality Assurance System. Its implementation seeks to control timber flows throughout the supply chain and ensure legal sourcing of products. At a public forum in Kumasi, interest groups described government approach as lackadaisical. Kofi Afrebwache is spokesperson. So for the wood tracking system, it's a very good concept because it basically takes away the human element in a, a forestry documentations. So it will be very good for us if it is expedited, especially a domestic market front where industry will have part to play in uploading their information. Here. Verification and audit manager at the Timber Validation Department, Forestry Commission, Dr. Iman Ojima, attempted some explanation. The wood tracking system uh, under development by the Forestry Commission and the Mini Mini Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources is at its final stage of rollout. In fact, we are actually implementing it, uh, but 
we have not uh, announced it nationally. But we have even issued dummy licenses to confirm that the system is working well. Discussion also focused on ways to address compliance challenges in the forestry industry. Local NGO Trepembos Ghana organized the session as part of Green Livelihood Alliance program. Messi also as its director. Okay, so we have noticed over the years that there, have, there are several infractions uh, within the timber sector. And this is um, contributing to deforestation and then um, forest degradation. But we also realize that uh, the timber sector is also plagued with a lot of challenges. And uh, we wanted to bring the stakeholders, like the timber uh, sector and then the Forestry Commission together to dialogue on some of these challenges that we have identified through a study so that we um, reach a common agreement on what to do and then what not to do and how to support each other so that we all um, achieve the common goal of sustaining our forest resources for the future generation. For Joy News, Nana Asensu Mesa, Kumasi. Now the Ghana Stock Exchange says challenges associated with attracting more companies to the market is due to transparency issues with a lot of local firms. The market has struggled to list more companies after almost 29 years of its establishment. Some industry watchers have attributed it to tougher market entry requirements. But Acting Managing Director of the Ghana Stock Exchange, Eko Afegi, is disputing this claim. Is that a can't, make it, can't make it onto the Ghana I just Stock came from Kaisun AGM. Is Kaisun a very huge entity company? No. That was when you started the market. It wasn't today. But, can but they don't still make it onto the market? Sure. They are they, struggling meeting even the market requirements. They made profits this year. <laughs> the shareholders are happy. Companies will go up and down depending on what is happening uh, to uh, the products of the company and the economy generally. But generally speaking, the requirements are not that stringent. What happens most of the time is the fact that most entities in Ghana are afraid of transparency. They are afraid of uh, accountability. You think that is the problem? It is a major problem. The companies have told you that. Uh, we've done a survey, our research, and that is why we set up the alternative market, uh, to be down the requirements and also to cut down the disclosures. When you take the alternative market, they disclose, uh, the mandatory disclosures are just twice in a year, uh, unlike the first one, which is straight quarterly. So you realize that Accountability is an issue. Corporate governance is an issue. And all these things have come up in recent uh, times. So you find a broker, goes to a company, starts preparing the company, and realizes that, look, it's going to take time. You have to put records together. They have to value the company. Then all the debates about the value now mm. is that because the original owner maybe has not put in a lot of capital. Now you want to raise capital, it might dilute it. It becomes very sensitive for them. It is not easy for an entrepreneur who sets up a company and grows it to say, I want to go out there. But that is where we made the mistake in Ghana. Because if we want to go beyond that small entity and come big and grow large and be able to employ people, you need long-term capital. Also for the full uh, edition, join the business edition of PM Express on Joy News channel at 9 p.m. That's pretty shortly coming up. As we take a look at the Ghana Stock Exchange's recent woes, is it to do with the economic environment or is it self-inflicted? The managing director of the Ghana Stock Exchange would also be answering some questions, including what accounted for recent challenges with its performance. Make a date with George Raffi shortly on PM edition, PM Express. Now the community news. And it's a wrap for business on Joy News Prime. My name is Manuel Apuaji. We are here.